Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert between liters and milliliters. So liters to milliliters and then milliliters to liters. Now, one thing to keep in mind, one liter equals 1000 milliliters. We need this information in order to convert. Let's jump into number one, where we have eight liters equals how many milliliters? Well, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So we have 1,000 milliliters, 1,000 milliliters, 1,000 milliliters, eight times. In other words, eight times 1,000. So we have 8,000 milliliters here. Eight liters equals 8,000 milliliters. So when we go from liters to milliliters, we multiply by 1,000. Let's move on to number two, where we have 71 and 46 hundredths, or 71.46 liters, equals how many milliliters? Now, this number is not as easy to work with as the eight liters in number one. We were able to use mental math for number one. For number two, we still need to multiply by 1,000 because we're going from liters to milliliters. When we multiply something by 1,000, we can actually make this really simple. All we need to do is move the decimal three times to the right. When we multiply something by 1,000, each digit of that number shifts three places to the left. The value of the number increases by 1,000. In other words, we multiplied by 1,000. So technically, the digits shift or move and increase in value. But let's make this simple and move the decimal in order to push all of our digits to the correct place, so to speak. So again, move the decimal three times to the right when we multiply by 1,000. So let's rewrite 71 and 46 hundredths here and move the decimal once twice and three times to the right. Fill this gap with a zero and our answer is 71,460. So 71.46 liters equals 71,460 milliliters. Let's see if that works for number one as well as far as moving the decimal. So let me rewrite eight and the decimal goes after a whole number. Let's move it once, twice, and three times to the right. Fill the gaps with zeros, and we get 8,000 that way as well. So to recap, when we go from liters to milliliters, we multiply by 1,000, and we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the right. Let's move on to number three, where we have 13,000 milliliters equals how many liters? Well, each group of 1,000 milliliters equals a liter. So we need to think how many groups of 1,000 are in 13,000, meaning 13,000 divided by 1,000. That gives us 13. So 13,000 milliliters equals 13 liters. So when we go from milliliters to liters, we divide by 1,000. Let's move on to number four, where we have 289 milliliters equals how many liters? So milliliters to liters, we divide by 1,000. Now this number isn't as easy to work with as the 13,000 in number three. We used mental math for number three. For number four, what we can do, we can move the decimal three times to the left. When we divide by 1,000, we push each digit to the right three places. This will give us 1 1,000th the value of our original number, meaning we're dividing by 1,000. We can do this by just, again, moving the decimal three times to the left. So 289. Decimal goes at the end of a whole number. So once, twice, and then three times to the left. 
So the decimal is going to go in front of the two. I'm going to put a zero here to show that we do not have any whole numbers. So we get 289 thousandths or 0.289. So 289 milliliters equals 0.289 liters. Now that answer is less than one whole because if you think about it, we need 1,000 milliliters to equal a liter. And we don't have 1,000 milliliters there. We have less than 1,000. So we have less than a whole liter. Now one more thing I do want to mention is the abbreviation for liter. We use a capital L. You'll normally see lowercase letters for abbreviations when it comes to units of measurement. For example, gram we use a lowercase g. In the case of liter, we use an uppercase L. That way, we do not confuse a lowercase L with a one. For example, one liter, if we were to write one liter and use a lowercase L, that looks like 11. So that's why we use the uppercase L when it comes to liters. So there you have it. There's how you convert between liters and milliliters. So when we go from liters to milliliters, multiply by 1000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the right. When we go from milliliters to liters, we divide by 1000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the left. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.